How's it going, everyone? I'm Alex. I'm a certified strength and conditioning specialist, and I am fascinated by outer space. Today, we're going to talk about how to align your shoulders for a strong and pain-free bench press. When bench pressing, it is important to draw your shoulder blades down and back like you were trying to jam them into your back pocket, then keep them there for the full set. Don't let them slip out or slide forward. If you do, you'll increase your chances of painful impingement at the shoulder, lengthen your range of motion, decrease mechanical efficiency, and lose stability. Make it your focus to set up with your shoulder blades down and back before you even lift the bar. And let me add some context to why this is so important. So I briefly mentioned avoiding shoulder impingement through the scapular retraction and depression. Fully diving into the details on shoulder impingement is well beyond the scope of this YouTube video, but let me offer a quick and simplified explanation. When your shoulders roll forward, they roll into a more internally rotated position. And when you internally rotate at the shoulder, the head of the humerus is pushed further up into the rotator cuff tendons, bursa, ligaments, and structures above it in what is called the subacromial space. It's the space between the head of the humerus and the acromion process, the acromion process being the bony end of the scapula that sits directly above the humeral head. We can limit some of this impingement by pinching the shoulder blades down and back therefore pulling the shoulders into greater external rotation and pulling the head of the humerus out of the way of the acromion process. Now everyone has some degree of shoulder impingement in this area and preventing painful symptoms is far, far more complex than simply externally rotating at your shoulders. But we can prevent unnecessary added stress with this move, so let's fucking use it. Another reason to pull your shoulder blades down and back is because it reinforces a proud chest position. This decreases the distance from your chest to the bar and decreases the range of motion of the lift. Now, normally, more range of motion is a good thing, but when it comes with shoulder irritation, let's avoid it. When you jam your shoulder blades down and back, pinching them on the bench, it becomes easier to keep your chest up and to maintain an arch in your lower back. This series of moves shortens the distance from chest to bar, and it allows you to lift heavier weights. Now, let's talk about the mechanical efficiency of our press. I'll do my best to keep this short and sweet before it starts to feel like a physics class. But the pec fibers fan out from their origin point on the sternum, clavicle, and ribs at a mostly horizontal angle. When we stick our chest out and keep it proud, again, through our shoulder blades down and back cue, we are able to steepen the angle of the pec fibers. This creates a closer to 90 degree angle between our pec fibers and the humerus, the bones that the pecs are attaching to. And since the muscles and bones of our body function like a system of levers, where the muscles pull the rigid bones around an axis of rotation, a 90 degree angle of pull represents maximum efficiency. Let me give you an example. Who would apply more force towards turning a wrench? Person A, who applied force at a 90 degree angle of the wrench, or person B, who applied force at a 45 degree angle of the wrench? Obviously, person B would be wasting a lot of energy pushing in as opposed to pushing 100% in the direction they want to see the wrench go. And we can apply this logic to how the pecs pull on the humerus when bench pressing. Now, normally we could get the pecs to function at 100% efficiency with the elbows straight out perpendicular to the spine, but we know this elbow's flared position is unsafe for your shoulders. So by keeping the chest up cue in mind when you bench, you are able to safely tuck your elbows in a bit while still maintaining your efficient position for the pecs to operate at. This means more weight can be bench pressed as your strength is now better displayed through optimal positioning. The pecs are still able to pull at the humerus at a 90 degree angle. However, that 90 degree angle can be achieved without flaring the elbows out. And lastly, you should keep your shoulder blades down and back as you bench so that you have a stable base to press off of. When the shoulder blades are pulled into this position, the various muscles of the upper back like the mid traps and the rhomboids are tightened and they are contracted. And when the shoulder blades are pushed forward, the upper back muscles are loose, while the sharp edges of the scapula stick into the bench. Let's think about what we're doing here. We are not pushing the bar up, rather we are pushing the bar and the bench away from each other. Since the bench is anchored to the heavy ass rock that we call the earth, she ain't moving. But this is why the bar moves, because of our force pushing it and the bench away from each other. This means we need solid connections at both the bar and the bench to better translate energy from our working muscles to either the bench or the bar. Any loose connections to the bench or bar results in a poor energy transfer or what's called energy leaks. Basically, you're wasting energy when you're pushing into something soft. 
So don't let your upper back get soft. Tuck the shoulder blades down and back. Now you have a firm and flat base to bench off of, and you're going to bench press a whole lot more weight with a whole lot less risk when you create a good connection between body and bench. So just to summarize all of that real quick, you should tuck your shoulder blades down and back as you bench press to avoid shoulder impingement, to decrease the range of motion of the lift, to increase your mechanical efficiency, again, the efficiency at which the pec fibers pull at the humerus bone. You can improve that efficiency by keeping your shoulder blades down and back. And we wanna keep this position in order to keep a strong, flat, firm base to press off of. Again, we want a good, stable surface. We don't want to push into a pillow, you want to push into a rock, think about it that way. So those are the four reasons that I gave for you guys for why you should pinch your shoulder blades down and back before you even unrack the bar and then keep them down and back for the entire set. If you can't slide your hand under your lower back while bench pressing, then you probably don't have that arch and you probably need to work on it. Now, at this point in the video, I want to scroll the names of all of my Patreon subscribers up on the screen. I will leave a link to my Patreon down in the, um, the description of this video. But I wanted to thank all of them. I thank them every YouTube video and through some of my Instagram posts as well. They join me over on Patreon. They get not only workout programs, but some exclusive content I'll go over on Patreon. I'll talk about, I'll post my individual workouts and I'll kind of talk my way through them. Um, I'll look at what I see in my training clips and critique it and do that in a public space so everybody can see. It's a nice learning experience for everyone. I have a podcast, The Medich Brand Show, that debuts every Tuesday over on Patreon, as well as a macro calculator and some other bonus content. It's really just my hub of bonus content that I've created for all of you guys, centered around workout programs, but it's, it's a lot more than just workout programs. And that, again, is in the, um, it's in my Instagram bio, it's in the description for this video. And if you'd like to check that out, go ahead and click on that link. It is $12 a month for the top tier to unlock everything. However, it is zero commitment whatsoever. So really you are making a $12 commitment in order to unlock a whole wealth of knowledge that will absolutely change your training, your nutrition, your whole uh, health and fitness journey in general. I designed it like that on purpose. That way the commitment is as low as possible and you can cancel any time. But there really is a, a, um, a ton over there that I can only offer through that platform. So I would highly recommend checking it out. But regardless, um, appreciate you sticking around for this video and I hope you enjoyed the content. As always, I'm open for suggestions. So let me know what you thought down in the comments and I'll talk to you next time.